I've been looking at this one I did yesterday, and this dark cloud cover here uh, looks more more like a, a happy accident of a of a deep pool. So I'm just adding in a little bit of reflection of these bushes behind the, the wall here. Um, well, I'll just turn it off a minute. I want to just lower that a little bit. Right, and I'm just going to try and lift out a little bit of this this colour here to oh Fred is meowing so I'll put in a bit of, bit of that nice and yellow over that and just Just a little bit up here. Right, I'll, that'll do. I just want you to see if I can turn that into a into a pool that it looks like. It's, it is a happy accident, as you know. I just want to just fill that little bit in there because I'm losing too much of my picture there. So my usual green, lemon yellow. Too much water on the brush. Burnt sienna, ultramarine, bit of lemon yellow, bit of red. Do you ask that just to Oh Freddy? Just fill in a little bit here. Okay, that do it. Don't drink that water, Freddy's. Freddy's growing. He's not such a little kitten. Let's show you him. There he is. It's Freddy. Say hello, Fred. It's a senseless pleasure. Right, I'll put the mount on it, and then we'll decide what we're going to do this morning. Well, for the... So maybe that. I oh, will let that go. So, just that little bit of dark there, it might just turn it into into the rocky pool. Right, okay, so I'll take that off. Oops, sorry, Fred. Made him jump. Right. Get my clips, a bit of paper, a bit of Fabriano. Now, I, I'm, I have been thinking about what I should do, but I'm not really sure. I like the mountains and the hills and the hedgerows and, and the odd tree. There's so many of them. I'll just clean my palette a little bit so we start again. And I'll give... I was thinking of doing a, a tone study again with, say, three colours. Good three colours to use for for these sim simple, well they're not simple, try to do with two colours what you'd normally use seven or eight for is quite a challenge. But I would also add that using more colours than the absolute minimum, unless you're very experienced, would lead to a muddy failure. Throwing Air colours of a view that's gone wrong or going wrong is not the way to solve your problem. Best to leave it and come back to it, maybe, if you can. And there are colours that, that are very tempting to use. Colours like uh, Prussian or Windsor Blue, Viridian, Hooker's Green, colours like that. And I've got, I, I don't use any greens, and I've got a whole range of greens on that. You, basically using the, the three primaries, yellow, blue and 
red. Red being um, any red from brilliant red to burnt sienna. Uh, light red is a very strong colour. But I, I, I was thinking of Mitchum Cohen with maybe three colours. Uh, so I've got my three colour palette here. But um, I like black, I like burnt sienna and I like raw sienna. So let's do Seven Islands. I was thinking of Seven Islands. Somebody, a family member, put on a photograph. I don't know how long ago it was taken. On Seven Islands, Mitchum Common, which I've painted many, many times before. Oh, something else I was going to, to mention. Um, I, rather than using a brush to, 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 to lift out some bits on the landscape, when the painting is dry, how about trying using a piece of card, a piece of plastic card, but a much smaller piece. I'll probably lose it, but you can scrape out roofs from the wet, wet paint, still waiting for it to dry. Might be easier. I'm going to use that later on, so... But I... Uh, I think I want to do a big sky with uh, the lake, the Seven Islands Lake. I think we'll do that, and I, I might do something else later. If I, so, oh, now the towel has arrived. All grist to the mill for my blotters. I've got my cup of tea. Yesterday I had a lovely pint of homemade beer, which I really like. So. I'll wet, oh no I won't, I'll, I'll use uh, neat paint, so I'll use a bit of, bit of burnt sienna, I'll, uh, I've got burnt sienna, I'll show you the palette, I'm just using my basic palette, um, where's my yellow oak arm, I, I meant to buy some of this last week, that's all I've got, just a little bit in the tube here, okay, I'll have to order a couple. Right, wet the paper all over. This is yesterday's water, so it's not exactly clean. But I know these have a, a mixed reception. Some of you like really nice colourful ones. Some of you like line and wash with the ink. Others are very happy with the, sim the simple tones you can get by just using two or three colours. I like using two or three colours because it's good exercise in getting all your tones with the simplified palette. And as you know now, painting is all about light against dark. Always light against dark tones, dark tones against light tones. Okay, so that's that's that. Right, let's put in a nice bit of. Uh, Yellow oak, yeah, uh, raw sien. I don't use yellow oak and watercolour. I don't like it personally because I find to be rather opaque, whereas the the, the raw sien is is lovely and transparent. No. The water here. But I want a, a, a low horizon, just in case I get a masterpiece where I can put in that exhibition that I'm going, going into next month. Right, okay, so mix a bit of black in with that now. A nice lot of burnt sienna. Thing is, I'm having a problem with the haker day in this one. It's, uh, So bring, it, bring the hairs together by just working on your palette. But you can see splitting, losing your hair. Mm. 
nice bit of movement on the sky here. Well, just put a bit of shadow underneath the cloud. Right, reclip the paper. I won't work anymore at that. I don't want the sky to compete with the landscape. I'm going to lift the pump, painting almost vertically here. So I'm just going to raise this up a bit because I'm going to work down at the bottom here. So I'll move the camera. It's always at the stage where you just don't really know what's going to happen to the sky, how it's going to blend, but the gravity will take the, paper, the paint or the water down the page. So you get that lovely effect of of that you get looking at a threatening cloud with the rain just dropping out of it and it's just that mist going down to the land. Freddy has, oh no, Freddy's, I'll show you where Freddy is. There he is, uh, also posse ironing. There he is sitting on the pile of YouTube demonstrations. So if anybody wants to make their way to my bit of London they can buy those very cheaply. Right, okay. Uh, I just want to take, take the, uh, the edge off of that. I'm just going to dry the horizon. Just, uh, just enough so that it blends a little bit, but not a lot. Okay, now we just use, just use a bit of black here. Just a background, this will this will stand for blue, blue background. And we can build into this as we go along. Now I've said it loads of times, Mitchell Common was very flat and the surrounding the golf course and but it's it suffered from landfill. I suppose the the garbage and I think that the, the M motorway the M25 excavations went into this whacking white hill. Had to go somewhere, so that's what they did with it. All the way across. Leave some airy bits. Now we're fairly straight there. Some of this will be coloured up, covered up with an island. But I'm going to put some trunks in this, I can. So I'll just, now I can go over some Burt Sienna. Just add little bits here and there, just give a bit of colour. How I'm going to do the islands, I don't know yet. I'm just concentrating on getting some some colour in in this a bit of darker stuff. I 
I'm mixing a bit of yellow ochre, yellow raw sienna, in with the black and the uh, burnt sienna. I'll put in the reflections later. All right, let's just etch in some. Now, it's got a bit of a beach. Well, I could put in some reflection there, I suppose. Keep your paper flat. A little swig of tea. Okay, don't like that bit. Just give you the news about Croft's dog show, very prestigious. I think the winner has been uh, done away with, with uh, some stock cube, beef cubes, poisoned skullduggery going on in the old dog world. Very competitive, isn't it? A lot of money at stake. Okay, so something's happening there. Not at all, but I haven't cycled over there this year yet. Okay, so there we are. Let's just see my, the haker's split again. Right, I'll just put a little bit of warm in there. Put an island in there, I think. As you can see, the uh, Winter. Just using a bit of burnt sienna in the, in the twigs here. And I don't want to do much across there. I don't want to. I'm going to leave that open. I'll, but I'll put, I'll put a beach in here because I like this. This is making me very happy. It's 
sand. Okay, that, that will do for that. Let's just put in a bit of reflection under that, I think. I used to hate to show a few ripples. Right. I've got to put some detail in there. Swig of tea before it goes cold. Now I'm quite liking that. I can use a card to just etch out a couple of bits of rock on the beach here. They're like, this is pebbly rather than sandy, but okay. let's get in to some a beach here. Really thick. I'll put in some bits of a Right, okay, we'll uh, put in a tree in there, coming in across here maybe. Uh, let's have a little look at that, looking nice and clean. But maybe before I do, I'll just, I'll put in a bit of, a bit of reflection here. So now the paper's dry, I just go over with a bit of clean-ish water. And then we can just put in some, some of the background colours. That's quite a dark bit there, so we'll put that bit in. Put a bit more colour in that reflection in there. And just put in some not too much of that. That's the bit of detailing now. With the burnt sienna and the black. Plenty of water on your brush, but thick paint, but you don't want it to run out of paint, so it's just...
Just all very simple. Trying to make it look like a little wood, but th these are small islands. <coughs> Although I'm making them look a bit big, but then I'm creating a picture rather than a portrait of anything. Now we want to just get some shadow of those in here. I should have scraped those out with my card, so we just just block those in a little bit. Right, now we want to do a bit of detail in here. Right, well, that'll do it for that. Just some little bits of grass. Just a few. But just a few bits sticking up here. Bit wet. Okay, so that sort of balances. Uh, right, that'll do it. Let's sign it and we'll put a couple of birds in. Okay, that's all. Just a quiet scene for a start on a Monday morning. Uh, let's just put that on there. And let's see. I put the uh, the ivory mounts on here. So there we are. We've got another seven islands. That wants to come down a little bit more, though. I think it's taking too much of the picture off. I think this mount is slightly smaller than the other one. Oh, bigger than that. Right, a bit better. Right, there we are. So, uh, let's get that straight in the mount. I've got the horizon straight anyway. Right. Well, there we are. So, we've seven islands, an, an island here, a bit of beach here, and there's some distance, showing what's left of the flat area. It's surrounded by suburbia anyway. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll bring you around.
and then we'll I try to keep trying to get this level in them on the camera but that's better sort of uh, no I can't doesn't seem to want to work anyway let's zoom in show that island with some trees sticking up there I've done a sort of distant view of it and the background and there's my my beach so I hope you enjoyed that for a Monday morning sure about the shaky camera but I can't oh Freddie he's on my bench behind now Right, okay, see you later. Bye-bye.